Previously, two software engineers decide to make a startup in their off time. Since we're also YouTubers, we think we may have the best shot in the creator space. Our current idea is a platform that connects local businesses with influencers to facilitate advertising and brand deals. Going to a WeWork right now, Tuesday night. I just had the worst day at work today. I had to do so much for the software I'm working on that's been going down so much. But I kind of fixed it. I'm here with Nang here and uh, we're gonna do some startup stuff. Oh my God, this place is fancy. Damn. All right, so Nang and I discussed a lot of things regarding the previous idea we had. But they, had, this is what I was talking about, is that they have to hire. Like say you're a startup for a credit card like Karen's. Let's say you have a credit card and you just want your page to have organic growth. You just want people to know what Carrie is. And notice there were a lot of problems in it. For example, the fact that it's a marketplace makes it very hard. It's both on the side of the creators and on the side of the businesses. So you actually have to go and get two sides, right, on the same platform. Just before we go out, I wanted to let you guys know I started a new Patreon page. So if you'd like to support me in the vlogs for them to continue, please go check it out. I will also be posting exclusive footage there. So here uh, we were talking about some other ideas. We were getting a little bit desperate. Just some quick details. Basically, the reason why this idea is not that good, it's okay, but there's an imbalance problem where usually creators have leverage over like what business deals they will take. So they have like more leverage than the businesses, right? It would be hard for like these local businesses to afford these creators to begin with. It just leaves a very small percentage of creators who, you know, are I guess like up and coming or are about to do well. It's just overall does not feel that uh, confident. So we're probably not gonna pivot. I'll see you then. It's 6.30. Man, this this week was a tough week of work. I mean, I feel like I say that every week. Found this new spot where this is where I do some workout now every day. I come out here and do some jump ropes. So whenever you feel depressed, look outside and realize you exist and the beauty of existence. Jeez. How you doing? What's up, bro? Here's a sandwich. This pretty nice. Check me out. Let's go. We're repping the merch every day. I wore this on a date last <laughs> night and it was like a tsunami. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, I couldn't handle it. Like, whoa! Alright, so here we try to find some different ideas, including the previous one we had. See if we can find something better. So these ideas. I feel like it still makes sense. Like, imagine if, okay, you just have to make the barrier higher. You need to post, like, I don't know, like, 20 times to get the 5% off or something. Yeah, then you get to a point where it might not be worth for the user. Like, everybody has their threshold of, like, like strictly speaking, each time you post is more, you want to do it less. Right. So other ideas we had were creator, marketplace, AI agency, rewards app. Let's say every time you go eat at a restaurant, you post a picture, but what if there's an incentive for it? You get points for doing so. And after X amount of times, you get a percentage off your meal. What I'm thinking is that this is hard to solve because the only way that this idea gives them steady income is, is if they're grinding doing this like a lot. Yeah, right? and this could be for people, you know, like they already have a job, creators and they want to make extra money. Yeah, so I, I think steady income is not, not the case. So here we pretty much completely did a pivot to a different idea and it's better if we leverage also our audience which means we should do a b2c app and that way we can make something you guys could use and here we talked about a gen z linkedin linkedin is cringe right nobody wants to use linkedin we started going off like this rabbit hole regarding this app we also talked about like a productivity app and other things of the sort okay but i'm thinking right now i'm actually thinking if you're not looking for a job, would you use this at all? Jobs should be a byproduct. Of but the pain point is looking for jobs. Bro, bro that's Twitter. Twitter is too general. This platform should just be for this one purpose of right. This is already side piece. So, yeah. Dan, how are you feeling? Uh, we gotta get out of here because <laughs> this place has no windows, so I'm dying. Even this elevator has more air. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think we should just focus on what we want to see. Like this influencer marketing is like, I don't know. Like I could live without it, you know? <laughs> so. There. No company in the office is gonna succeed. Like they don't, <laughs> they don't even know it. 60% capacity. Their IQ drops yeah. each time. 
Alright, we're gonna go get my favorite food. Once again, at a new WeWork. <laughs> so we need some private rooms. All right, hopefully this is the right floor. Oh my God, there we go. Please, I don't think, oh, no. Oh, perfect. This is perfect. This is a private room. Damn, damn, look at this, con oh my God, this conference room is open. You know what, I'm gonna I'm go sit outside for a second. Oh, it's closed? Ah, oh, that sucks. I stayed at WeWork and tried to research some of the ideas we had. We were always able to find some other company or product that made pretty much the exact same idea that we were brainstorming, which means it's like there is some product market fit. It's very rare you can think of an idea that literally nobody else has. If your idea doesn't exist at all, you should be concerned. But it was still a little bit problematic because none of these ideas were really inspiring to us. I felt like we needed to do more brainstorming. All right, it's 8 p.m. We finally leave. Yes. I need to get my glasses. Oh, where is it? It's in my house, bro. Oh, no, I have it. Oh, yeah. that too. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring them. That's fine. I have my other ones. All right, we're going to have dinner now. Finally. We're about to eat some Singaporean food. People's food. My people's food. Let's go. Even though I am American. So personally, I feel like whatever idea we decide to work on has to be at least exciting to me. Projects like these where you start from scratch are very hard to do and they take time and effort for you to be able to persevere through this thing. You need to be at least very passionate or excited about it. Otherwise, you'll just give up. And a lot of times in, in startups, it's really just a war of attrition. How long can you keep going for? To me, I, I think whatever we choose is, is pretty important. And if it's like some random stuff, I, I don't think we need funding for it. I think we can just do it as a project. So we're gonna keep looking for stuff. We're creators. Like, Dude, I this, think it makes sense. This. Like a, you have your portfolio to have a community. Or, sorry, that doesn't make sense. You have a portfolio. You see other people that you like that have cool stuff on their portfolio. You add them. There can be server admins on this like Isn't this site. basically like a portfolio website then? Network. For Gen Z creative. <laughs> How is our thing Gen Z? The design, the intent, but this app is gonna be a platform where this is like the expected culture. And I think that it will appeal to a lot of people our age. Maybe you, who's watching. <laughs> yeah. So since this video, we have thought about some stuff and made some decisions, some changes. Which includes the idea of an open source AI powered coding environment that we are already currently working on. More details in the next video. Peace.